Welcome back, art students. In today's lesson, we will recreate a decorative egg inspired by Peter Carl Fabergé. Fabergé was a very talented Russian jeweler that was commissioned by the Russian royal family to make a special egg each spring. Fabergé created each egg with wonderful craftsmanship. He used the finest crystals, diamonds, golds, and jewels. Each egg took more than a year to complete. In addition to being beautiful, what makes Fabergé eggs so unique is the element of surprise on the inside when the egg is opened. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need a pencil, watercolor paints, crayons, and a cup for rinsing your paintbrush. Okay, let's get started. To make the oval shape of my egg, I'm going to use a pencil. An oval shape is sort of Thin, thinner on the top and rounded on the bottom. Now, using a pencil will allow me to go back and erase it if it's not the shape of the oval that I'm looking for. So I'm going to press down and make my shape of my egg, oval shape. Pretty good, a little bumpy here, but that's okay. When I use my crayons, you won't be able to see that bump. If it really bothers you, you can always use your eraser. Okay, to outline the outside of my egg, I'm going to use a pink color. I'm going to press down very hard. Remember, when you're using crayons and watercolors, the harder you press down on your crayon, the nicer your piece will come out in the end. Your crayons will shine through much brighter. And maybe the first time you go around and it's not very dark and you can retrace it again to really make that line dark. Okay, very good. Next, we are going to make our line right down, right straight through the center. This is the line that in a Fabergé egg you would open up your egg here to reveal the surprise on the inside. So that will be our, the center of our egg. I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way across using my orange crayon. Okay, and let's draw another line underneath. Using my dark pink crayon again, I'm going to make a tiny little rectangle right on this in the center. That will be my clasp. That is the part of the egg that I would use to open and close my Fabergé egg. Color that in. Shade in my clasp. Now, Fabergé eggs, as we talked about, are made with precious stones and and gold, so I'm choosing yellow here to shade in the center of that line of my opening of my egg. The fancier, the better. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my orange crayon and we're going to make the top of our egg here and we're going to make a lattice design. These are lines that cross each other. And we'll start here in the bottom right corner. And we're going to make straight lines from the center line to the edge of our egg, all the way across. Remember to press down hard. So slanted straight lines. I'm going to do this all the way across my egg until I really don't have any more space. Now I'm going to take my crayon. We started on the right hand side slanting up and now we're going to slant down and go all the way across the egg. Right, the left corner. 
slanted line down. Those are straight slanted lines. Fabergé loved this lattice design. He used this in several of his famous eggs. Okay, the lattice design is complete. Now let's go back and jazz up our egg with some precious stones. So at each of the, where the lines meet, I'm going to just press down hard on the corners. All of those lines to make our egg fancy. Are you seeing the diamond shape in my lattice? And I think, oh, maybe one down, a few down here. Okay, I think that looks very nice. Okay, next, let's make our flowers at the bottom. These are sort of tulip looking flowers, but we've added some fun um, detail on the inside. Okay, let's start with our green. Okay, we're going to make three flowers on the bottom of our egg. Make a straight green line down, pressing hard. We'll make two leaves for this flower. Let's start just to the side of the stem and make a, a little curved line back into the stem. On the other side, curved line back into the stem. Now let's give our, make our leaf a little wider. So touch the top of the leaf and rounded line back to the stem. Top of the leaf, rounded line, back to the stem. Shade in your leaves now with the green. Okay, there's one stem and leaves. Let's do another one here. Let's make this stem, or this leaf, this stem come straight up to the side here. And we'll make this leaf. Let's start here at the bottom of the stem for this leaf. Make a curved line up and back down to the stem. And then maybe a smaller leaf here on the side. Line out, line in. Shade in your leaves. Okay, we've got one, two. Next, let's do our third flower and let's make that stem come out to the side. Starting at the bottom, make a curved line up and then a line straight back down to our stem. Small line out, small line in. And we'll shade in those leaves next. Okay, we are ready to do our flowers now. For my flowers, I'm going to choose that same dark pink and I'm going to make a rounded top, curved line. So here's the bottom, the top of my stem. And just to the side, I'm going to make a rounded line to touch my stem and back up. Rounded line, touch my stem and back up. Rounded line, good. And like our tulip, starting at 
the top of our flower petal, touch it and come make a line right back to our stem. Line right back to our stem. Top to our stem. Top to the stem. Top to the stem and in. And for the inside of this flower, we're just going to make some dark lines that come out. Straight, dark lines. Very good. Okay, to shade in our flower, I'm choosing a different color pink, choosing a lighter pink. All right, now the background of our flowers here, I'm going to use lots of different colors and I'm just going to make rounded, dark polka dots. But these polka dots represent all of the beautiful jewels and diamonds that Fabergé loved to decorate his eggs. So I'm going to just fill in that space now at home, if you had some glitter or little gems, you could place them there. That would look really nice. I think a little space for some yellow. Yellow looks like gold, so that is very pretty. Okay, next we are going to make the base for our egg. Now eggs are rounded in shape so they will, would roll if they weren't on a base. So we're going to put our Fabergé egg on a base. And to do this we're going to use an orange crayon. I'm going to come out just to the side. Here's the middle. Just to the side. Make a straight, uh, more of a slanted line out slanted line out and then close your shape. Now the, the base of the Fabergé egg, they, every egg looked totally different, but they were also very ornate and decorative and fancy. We're going to give our base maybe some fancy curly legs. So this is kind of a tricky move, but you're going to start here at the corner and you're going to go down and curl in. Other side, down and curl in. Now going back to our the very end of our curl, I'm going to touch there and come all the way back in. Okay, touch in. We're going to kind of trace that line and come back in. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to shade in our base using yellow so it looks shiny and like gold. Pressing down hard.
Okay, let's paint our egg now. Using watercolor paints, I've chosen to paint the inside of my egg purple and the outside blue. Now you'll need to dip your paintbrush to get it wet. You're using watercolor paints. Tap off any of the extra water into your purple. And remember, wherever we put our wet watercolor paints over our crayons, that the watercolor paints will just run right off of the oil, the wax in the color or the crayons. And I can just go right over the whole egg. doing my best to stay right inside that egg so it stays an oval shape like an egg. Pushing any wet petals so I don't have a big wet spot. If you get outside your egg, slow down. Looks very pretty. Okay, we're going to change colors now, so rinse your brush. Every time you change colors, you need to rinse out the color you used before. Tap out any of that extra water. And we're going to use blue to go around our egg. Now, we've just painted our egg so it's wet, so you'll have to be very careful not to get inside your egg because those colors will start to mix together. Okay, so we'll just trace right along our egg shape all the way around. I can go right over that yellow. It won't stick. I'm going to take this making this circular motion all the way around my egg. Now I only have the corners that are left white. I'm going to now go around and I'm going to fill that in with some purple. Now purple and blue are close in, in color and they will blend nicely when they are touching together. Starting at the top. You can see how I'm making a nice sort of violet where the purple and the blue are meeting. Be careful to color in all of my white. There. And there you have your very own Fabergé egg. Thanks for painting with me today. See you next time. Bye.